Lee, we're a week into pre-season. How have you found things? Yeah, it's been um, obviously, look, a very short break, but one that we definitely would have taken at the end of the season. Um, the goal was to, to get this club into Europe and look, we, we got it through the playoffs, the long route, the long way around, but look, we're thankful we got there. So yeah, look, uh, I think we had a total of maybe 12 days off and we've been back in now a full week and look, it's great to see the boys again. Um, we have a great dress room, you know, especially towards the end of the season. It brought a lot of us, uh, well, it brought the whole team and the squad and the staff closer together with the way we had to get Europe. So um, yeah, look, we're back to work now and um, obviously the European game is only two weeks away. Yeah, and as you say, very short break. Have you had a chance to sort of reflect a little bit on you know how the season ended, getting there through the playoffs, and just the, sort of the euphoria of, of that? Have you had a chance to kind of think about that since you've been off? Um, yeah, a small, a small little bit. Um, I suppose it's been a crazy year for everyone involved in, obviously everyone in general with COVID, but in sport then as well, to having no fans and no supporters, there's no atmosphere really at the games. And um, I think with ourselves, I think at the start of the season. Um, we started so well and then when the second half of the season, when, when our results kind of weren't really there or, or mixed results, um, we could have done with having the fans there to to help us. And I think it just shows that in those two games, especially having two home home uh, games against Glenavon and Cliftonville, it just showed having even a small capacity of fans back in. It, it really helped us when when we were a bit under the cosh that we needed, that we needed the, that little bit of a push. Yeah, and on a personal note, um, it must have been a very enjoyable experience. The playoffs, you, you come off the bench and kind of help to change the momentum of the game against Glenavon. Obviously, got a big goal against Cliftonville, and uh, yeah, you, you must have enjoyed those two games. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, it was my first time with Larne experience in the playoffs. Uh, they don't really have that route down uh, in the League of Ireland. Um, but yeah, look, look, we we rotated our team a lot this year, and obviously came off the bench against Glenavon and. We just need a little bit of a push and I was happy to help that. And obviously against Cliftonville then, um, I think we all played well. And even the lads that came off the bench in the Cliftonville game ended up changing the game as well. So um, look, it, it was great to get the goal. Um, if I'm being honest, I didn't care who got it. Um, we needed a goal. We needed to to secure Europe. And, and, and we made sure that, especially after the Irish Cup final, that we were going to go out. And and make sure that we could walk off that pitch saying that we've given our all um and 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 getting this job done, as I said, which is what we wanted, which was Europe for, for next season. Yeah, I felt like a very significant achievement as well, as you say, the Irish Cup final. And you know, we we'd gone so close, whether it be through the league or through the cup final, and, and the playoff obviously was was our chance to do it. But but there's pressure there as well, and we we stood up to that and, and we delivered when, when it really mattered. Yeah, I think so. I think I think towards I think well now everyone realised that we we went to the end of every competition that was possible last season, which is which is really good. But obviously, from our perspective, we would love to have won every competition that we are involved in. But to go to the end, obviously the Irish Cup final, obviously look, we won the Antrim Shield, and look, we kind of fell short at the end with the league. But the fact that we were there. I think it'll stand to us this season, especially, as you said, a lot of boys maybe have more experience in the bigger games, in the pressure situation games. And I think that, um, look, we all wanted to win every competition we were involved in. Um, every player will tell you that. But our main thing was getting Europe. And I think for me and to look at our team, I think going forward now, we'll be well more equipped for those bigger games, especially next season with all other teams strengthening. And look, we have them right away uh, in two weeks' time. You know, obviously the club's first ever appearance in Europe. So um, we definitely want to progress through the rounds in Europe. And for that, we have to turn up and we have to play well. Yeah, and right now we're in a, so it was a, kind of a mini pre-season, a couple of weeks before those uh, Ballantyne games, as you say, but um, some good opposition to uh, get us ready for it, Coleraine and then Kilmarnock. So, you know, there's a bit of a carrot at the end of the training for the players to, you know, to go out and play minutes, play matches. Yeah, well, as I said, we would have taken this at the end of the season because if we didn't have Europe, you know, obviously the league wasn't starting till the end of August. So um, for us to be in Europe at the very start before even the league starts, obviously um, it means we're back in early, but we don't really mind about that. It's about um, getting the squad together. Obviously, we're going to have new players come in as well, getting them gelled into the squad. Um, I think everyone involved in Larn knows that, that the gaffer rotates the squad a lot and everyone buys into what we're doing. And um especially with next season with how well we did last year with regards getting to the end of most competitions. As I said, we want to go that extra bit further this season now and 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 
win more trophies if we can and, and keep pushing up that top end of the table and be a bit more there or thereabouts next season, especially with the league. Yeah, and uh, Europe's obviously the big thing on the horizon coming up soon. Um, you're no stranger, played in the uh, Europa League and, and the Champions League qualifiers as well. So you, you hope to bring that sort of bit of experience to um, to what will be our uh, first European cam- campaign. Yeah, look, I'm looking forward to it with Laren, especially with the fact that when I signed with Laren, we were in the championship and obviously you you kind of lay out them sort of goals as a I suppose as a squad, Kenny as an owner and the, the management staff. But the fact that we're here now, you know, it's it's good that we can turn up and I just hope we really play well. Um with regards to the experience, I think we've a lot of experience in the squad. Um a lot of boys will have played in Europe or in England at very high level as well. So I think for for ourselves, I think we just want to turn up in those European games and play well and especially our brand of football, I think it'll suit us in Europe. So um, hopefully we can put our authority on those games. And as I said, um, um, yes, it's great for the club to be first time involved in Europe, but for us, we want to progress through as many rounds as we possibly can. Yeah, and the draw against Ballantyne, um, as I said to Tiernan earlier in the week, I suppose it's one of those ones where you don't have to travel very far and maybe you can pick up some more details uh, about the squad, but um, we could have been further afield, Iceland, um, Poland, etc. So what, what's your thoughts on the draw, first of all? Yeah, obviously, look, they're going to be a hard team, but um, obviously the management staff will do their homework on them. And look, we can only take who we're drawn against. Um, but as far as you said, with travel-wise, I suppose it's a, it's a, it's a easy enough travel um, to Wales. And um, obviously, with getting them away in the first leg is helps as well. And obviously, bring them back to Inver Park then for the second leg, which is even better. So, um, look, as I keep saying, we want to progress through these rounds. And obviously, Ballatown are just the first team in that. So. Hopefully we we can do the job over the over the two legs and, and and progress into the next round where there's obviously um even even harder teams then. Yeah, and you say going away from home first of all is it a case of trying to kind of feel our way into the tie a little bit and you know see see how that goes and make sure we're we're still well in it by the time we come back to Inver Park a week later. Yeah, well I think I think with the team that we have anyway we we will go out to win the game. But obviously, um, I think just an advantage to, to any team to have your second leg at home, um, especially with having our fans back in as well. Um, so hopefully we can go out to Wales and get a good result. Um, hopefully it's three points out there and then to bring them back to Inver Park. And then we know that if, if, if we really win or draw, we really get that job done. Um, so yeah, look, we're all really looking forward to it, but obviously we're just preparing for it at the moment and um, and obviously make sure we have our homework done on, on Ballatown. And just finally, um, as we said, it's not been much of a break, but in that break there have been five players who've gone and three who have come in so far. So how, how are the new lads um, settling in among the squad? Yeah, um, look, there's always changes in football squads. So um, obviously the lads that were here last year that have moved on you know, really helped the squad and, and we all wish them all the best for, for, for the new clubs that they've signed for and then the new lads that have come in. Um, I think we have a very good change room here. I think we make it make it very welcoming to, to new boys that come in and, and we all look after them. We make sure that they find their feet. Um, and yeah, they've done they've done very well. Obviously, we're only in a week now, but look, they're straight into the games with Tuesday night and, and, and against Kilmarnock as well. So um, they, they'll, they'll, they'll know the way we play anyway. So yeah, um, Obviously, look, we're we're happy that they're in, and obviously, there's there's more than likely going to be more signs as well, and um, it'll make the squad stronger, and obviously, as I said, help us more with the league and with all the cup competitions that we're definitely going to try and push for next season. Yep, certainly look forward to. Th- thanks very much, Philippe. Appreciate it. No problem, Ian. Thanks very much.